James Norton was severely injured in an accident on his riding mower. When he sued the mower's manufacturer, the jury thought he'd proved his case, but the trial judge said no. In Norton v. Snapper Power Equipment, the 11th Circuit decided who was right. Norton bought a snapper riding mower to use in his commercial lawn mowing business. Norton was using the mower to clear leaves in a yard near a creek. As Norton crested a steep incline, the mower slid backward into the creek. Norton applied the brakes to no avail. He kept both hands on the mower's handlebars until the crash into the creek knocked him from the seat. At some point, Norton's hand got caught in the mower's blades and he was severely injured. The snapper mower was designed so that the blades would continue to spin for three to five seconds after the power was turned off. Norton sued Snapper, alleging that the lawnmower was unreasonably dangerous and therefore defective because it lacked an automatic blade stopping device, also known as a dead man device. At trial, Norton's expert testified that sophisticated dead man devices existed when the Snapper mower was manufactured and that the devices used by the entire mower industry, including Snapper, weren't the best available. Norton's expert also opined that a lawn mower without such a device was unreasonably dangerous. Further testimony established that an effective dead man device could have stopped the mower's blades from moving in less than a second after Norton applied the brakes, and Snapper's experts testified that given the circumstances of the accident, as Norton described them, a two to three second difference in stopping time would have avoided his injury. At the close of the evidence, Snapper moved for a directed verdict. The district court allowed Norton's strict liability claim to go to the jury, which found for Norton. The district court instead overturned the jury's verdict, entering judgment notwithstanding the verdict for Snapper. Norton appealed to the 11th Circuit. 